Okay, in this video, we'll be capturing the loading journey as I explore the Jetson Nano 2GB developer kit. So this is the page I'll be following, the getting started guide. So the 2GB model has reached end of life um, at the time of this video, but it will be the same for or similar to the 4GB model, which is still available. So this is the introduction. These are the various components we have. The SD card, power supply and network. Next step will be to flash the micro SD card. So you can download the image from this link. Then flash it based on uh, which system you have, Windows, Mac or Linux. So after you flash the SD card, you can put it inside the, the board. So I'll be using the initial setup with display attached. So I'll be using the monitor, keyboard and mouse attached to the board directly. You insert the SD card and you can power on the board. Okay, when we power on the board, we see the NVIDIA logo. That's a good sign that it's loading up. Okay, so this is the Ubuntu uh, setup page, setup wizard. So we just uh, click through the wizard. So we accept the license agreements, the language. The keyboard. Where are you? The name? <clears throat> Just log in automatically for convenience. The desired size, we'll just use the maximum. It is recommended to create the swap file. Okay, we'll just follow the recommendation. NVP model, we'll just leave it as default, which probably will use the max number of resources, the CPU, frequency, and the number of cores.
Okay, so we are greeted with this uh, desktop which tallies with the website. The only difference here is that we see uh, the font is all very big. So what to do with that? Okay, so we saw the desktop then Okay, so one thing that we have to do because the font is so big is we have to change the file. So let's do that. So what you need to do is uh, the problem is in one of the resolution file. So you open the terminal. Then we will go to xdpy info is grab for dots so you see the dots is a very big number number so what we need to change is a file usr share light em light em dot cnf dot d dash 50 dash x server dash command dot cnf so in this file we will sudo ei and then we will change the last line to include dash dpi 96 save and close the file and then we would restart the bot. Okay, so the bot is rebooted, then we have successfully changed the DPI, so the font size is more reasonable now. Okay, so that's the setting up and booting up the bot, so we flash the micro SD card and then booted up the bot, and we got the desktop to get started. So next steps would be to go through the links here to do some uh, useful stuff with the bot.